SpaceX. Elon Musk's private rocket company that, in its early days, was derided as little more than a delusional billionaire's fantasy, which critics said was building its rockets out of wax and rubber bands, have been achieving something unprecedented in history, shocking the whole rocket industry. And to demonstrate just how far ahead of its competitors and the rest of the spacefaring world, the latest Starlink 6-1 launch culminated in the 100th successful consecutive landing of a Falcon rocket booster. 100 flawless missions. SpaceX's landing reliability now rivals that of some of the most reliable rockets ever flown. That extraordinary feat bodes well for SpaceX's next-generation Starship rocket, which is designed to propulsively land humans on the Earth, Moon, Mars, and beyond. Let's take a closer look in today's episode of Great SpaceX. On Monday, the successful launch of the first batch of the next-generation Starlink version 2 satellites will likely kick off a new era of affordability for the Constellation. Simultaneously, and as I've mentioned before, this marked the 100th consecutive rocket landing of the SpaceX Falcon. SpaceX's landing reliability milestone is made all the more impressive by the lack of immediate competition. More than seven years after SpaceX's first successful Falcon 9 booster landing and six years after the company's first successful Falcon booster reuse, Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are still the only reusable orbital class rockets in operation. Blue Origin has had some success reusing the first stage of its suborbital New Shepard rocket. Rocket Lab has also recovered small electron rocket boosters from the ocean, but it's yet to catch a booster with a helicopter, which is a necessity for cost-effective reuse. Many other companies have announced or begun developing their own partially or fully reusable rockets. But even in a best-case scenario, the most promising of those potentially competitive rockets are still a year or two from their first launch attempts, let alone their first successful recoveries and reuses. SpaceX debuted the Falcon 9 rocket behind most of its successful booster recoveries and reuses in June of 2010. It recovered a Falcon 9 booster for the first time in December of 2015 and reused a different booster for the first time in March of 2017. It completed nearly all of that risky development work during launches for paying customers. Even after the first success, many unsuccessful landing attempts followed as SpaceX pushed the performance envelope and discovered new failure modes. Falcon's most recent landing failure occurred during a Starlink launch in February of 2021 and was caused by a hole in a flexible skirt meant to keep Earth's superheated atmosphere out of the flight-proven booster's engine section. However, every landing since Falcon 9's Starlink 19 landing failure has been successful. On February 27th of 2023, almost exactly two years after that failure, Falcon 9 booster B-1076 touched down on one of SpaceX's three drone ships, marking the rocket family's 100th consecutively successful landing. Starlink 6-1 was also the Falcon family's 183rd consecutively successful launch, as a Falcon landing failure has never prevented the completion of a mission's primary objective. Launch-wise, Falcon 9 and the Falcon family have already become the most statistically reliable rockets in history. Very few rockets in history have managed 100 consecutively successful launches, let alone landings. For example, according to spaceflight reporter Alejandro Romero, the next most reliable American rocket, the McDonnell Douglas Delta II, nearly achieved 100 consecutively successful launches before its retirement in 2018. The landing reliability of SpaceX's Falcon rockets is thus tied with the launch reliability of the most reliable American rocket not built by SpaceX. Additionally, SpaceX's Falcon booster landings are now statistically more reliable than the launches of United Launch Alliance's much-touted Atlas V rocket, which has more or less successfully launched 97 times. Falcon's landing reliability is an encouraging sign for SpaceX's next-generation Starship rocket. For Starship to fully achieve SpaceX's goals, it will eventually need to be able to propulsively land humans on Earth and at other destinations throughout the solar system. SpaceX currently has 
has no plans to develop an independent crew escape system for Starship, meaning that the rocket itself will instead have to demonstrate extraordinary overall reliability. SpaceX executives have stated that Starship will only be deemed safe enough to launch humans once it has completed hundreds of successful launches and presumably landings. The company is focusing on developing a fully reusable Starship to make spaceflight as frequent as it is to take off an airplane. We have Starship B. We have Starship B as much like aircraft operations as we can possibly get it. We want to talk about dozens of launches per day, if not hundreds of launches a day," said Ms. Shotwell at the Federal Aviation Administration Commercial Space Transportation Conference. Ms. Shotwell noted that flying Starship 100 times before launching astronauts aboard was not a requirement, but that achieving 100 flights would be a great milestone ahead of launching people. I would love to do hundreds before. I think that would be a great goal and it's quite possible that we can do that," she said adding that SpaceX has 100 Falcon 9 missions on its 2023 launch manifest. If we can do 100 flights of Falcon this year, I'd love to be able to do 100 flights of Starship next year. I don't think we will do 100 flights of Starship next year, but maybe 2025 we will do 100 flights," she said. These 100 Starship flights would be cargo missions, mostly expected to be dedicated to completing the deployment of SpaceX's Starlink broadband satellite constellation. The company has regulatory approval to launch 7,000 and 500 Starlink Gen 2 system satellites that will be equipped with additional technology to increase the internet network's capabilities. These Gen 2 satellites will be much larger and heavier and will require Starship to deploy to orbit. Starship will be capable of carrying 100 tons to low Earth orbit. SpaceX is working to launch the first Starship to orbit this year, in which the flight could happen as soon as March if pre-flight preparations go smoothly. We will go for a test flight and we will learn from the test flight and we will do more test flights," Shotwell said. Falcon has managed 100 successful landings in a row despite large gaps in redundancy. Most landing burns are conducted with a single Merlin 1D engine. Any issue with that engine would likely result in a failed landing. Falcon boosters also have four landing legs and four grid fins, powered by a single hydraulic pump. The failure of that pump or one of four legs has demonstrably doomed earlier landings. Starship's much larger size and excess performance could provide a larger margin for error and allow for more redundancy. But Falcon has demonstrated that even a rocket with multiple glaring single points of failure can achieve 100 consecutively successful landings. The success of the company's Starship project will probably ultimately determine how long the Falcon 9 will remain a workhorse. Nevertheless, it seems likely that the Falcon 9 will fly for a long time yet, and that is because it now provides the only means for US astronauts to get into space. And while NASA's Deep Space Orion vehicle and Boeing's Starliner spacecraft should come online within the next couple of years, the Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon spacecraft will very likely remain the lowest risk and lowest cost means of putting humans into orbit for at least the next decade. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, and as always, if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, my team and I will see you next time.